Our top story at 6, Louisiana Delta Community College is partnering with Chenault Aviation and Military Museum to bring a piece of history back to life. NBC 10's Haley Hines joins us live in the studio with more details. That's right, Kyla. A military truck that is believed to have been used during the Vietnam War era is being restored at the West Monroe location of the local community college. Meet Deuce and a half. A military truck from the Vietnam War era that was given to the Chenault Aviation and Military Museum. The truck is being restored by Louisiana Delta Community College students that are pursuing an education surrounding diesel mechanics. There we, go. we spoke with instructors who are overseeing the restoration. Well, it's a fantastic opportunity for our students to uh, learn about some of the older equipment that is out there and to be able to restore something for the museum. Uh, you know, a deuce and a half, you know, for the military, it's a great honor. The military truck was delivered to the school shop unable to crank, but according to DeSalle, it has not been hard to get the vehicle running, but there are a few more obstacles to overcome before a deuce and a half will make its way to the museum. Veteran and co-founder of the Chenault Aviation and Military Museum spoke about the collaboration. What they're doing right here is very special. We don't have the total knowledge what they're doing or the facilities to work on something like this. So people and groups like this who come together to support us, it means a lot to us. With the historic truck in hand, students have been hard at work alongside their instructors. One student even learned he had a personal connection to the vehicle. His grandfather drove a deuce and a half during his time in service. It kind of makes me think, man, my grandpa could have been sitting in this exact seat right here 20, 30, 40 years ago. And to see those men face light up when they crank it up, yeah, I love that. Smith also stated the restoration of the vehicle is to honor those who once drove it and the many lives the vehicle aided in saving. Reporting live in the studio for your Arklamist News Source, I'm Haley Hines.